morning, folks, or afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. I'm doing a gift request. Jacob Herrick, shout out to you. Thank you for this gift. Jacob made a, um, a number of gifts for me to do a number of reactions to Jimmy Buffett in honor of Jimmy's life and his passing, as have others. Just the outpouring of love for Jimmy on the channel and it has just like exploded. And, uh, you know, most of us were shocked to find out that he had passed on September 1st. I certainly was. I didn't know he was sick. But anyway, I'm doing changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes. I don't think I know this, but I might. Like, I wasn't big on, on Jimmy's catalog. Like, I liked what I'd heard of Jimmy. I just never explored a lot of it. So I'm going to swap hats here, put my trusty headphones on, and see what... Jimmy's got sometimes Jimmy presents songs that you'd think by title would be fun and they're actually a lot more serious because Jimmy early in his career certainly he's got a lot of serious songs so here we go it's starting off kind of ser more serious than you'd expect from that title see if it picks up I took off for a weekend last month just to try and recall the whole year. All of the faces and all of the places, wondering where they all disappeared. I didn't ponder the question too long. I was hungry and went out for a bite. Ran into a chum with a bottle of rum and we wound up drinking all night. Gotta laugh. Beating departure signs in some big airport reminds me of the places I've been. Visions of good times that brought so much pleasure makes me want to go back again. If it suddenly ended tomorrow, I could somehow adjust to the fall. Good times and riches and son of a bitch is I've seen more than. You see, this is a perfect example of where, like, one song, like Margaritaville, that everybody knows and associates, of course, properly with Jimmy, you think, well, this is what his style is. Like Bobby McFerrin's Don't Worry, Be Happy. Most of Jimmy's songs that I've heard have a serious undertone to them or straight up more serious. Like, this is a contemplative song. This is a song about two guys, about him anyway, one character in the song contemplating life, the prior year's worth of life. It's a serious song. That's a nod to Whalen.
That line in there might be a nod to Whalen. Uh, what is it? Um, I may be crazy, but it's kept me from going insane. And that, that may have been a nod to Whale in there. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I mean, this was a much more serious song than you'd think. They could have really made this thing sort of like, not more popified, but like happier, if you will. But it kept it in the pocket. I mean, it's just true to what Jimmy's catalog so far, much of it is like this, where you've got like sort of fun music. But not over the top fun. Not don't not don't worry, be happy or ninety nine love balloons happy. This is. I want. Oh, during the song, I wondered if Jimmy ever covered Crosby, Stills and Nash's song "Southern Cross," because that's right up his alley with hitting the open ocean and, and all that. Or if Jimmy ever joined them in concert for something because CSN are iconic and they're basically the same era of Jimmy. So, Jacob, all right, what am I going to rate this one? The number that popped into my head was an 8.7. It, I, Jimmy gets me thinking a lot more than I thought he would. Even when I reacted to the studio version, Jacob, that you made a gift to the channel for of Margaritaville, a few days prior, I'd done a live version reaction or review of Margaritaville. And the visuals in there, and Jimmy's happy on stage, and he switched up some of the lyrics, and he addressed the crowd. You know, it, it, it distracted me in a sense from the lyrics. And when I did the studio version that you'd requested, I gave that a ten. I had no idea that that song was as deep as it was because the music kind of gave it away. You just feel good, happy, and all this stuff. But that was a song of self-realization. Um, so Jimmy just knew what he was doing, but he was like the secret lyrical poet genius sort of flew under the radar in that regard. But parrot heads know, they know, and I'm becoming one. So, all right, I'm coming in with an 8.7 on that. That was just fun. So thank you again, Jacob. We can all thank DJ Jacob Herricks for that request and gift. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video and keep rocking the country. Thank you.